Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. So before we get stuck into today's video, I just wanna let you know that I'm planning on doing an upcoming Q&A video. So if you've got any questions for me, whether that's about puzzling or maybe there's something else you're curious about, then feel free to leave those in the comments below. Just let me know that they're for this video. And if you happen to miss out on posting in the comments, I'm also gonna be planning to do a Instagram story where you can submit questions there as well. So without further ado, let's get stuck into this whole video. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you all the puzzles that I received for the month of July. And there's quite a lot here. Uh, we've got lots of different brands, including some brands that are new to me, lots of different art styles, quite a few fun and colorful puzzles. And, you know, even uh, a bit of variety amongst puzzle types. So we've got like some mini puzzles, some velvet touch, some wooden, all sorts. So I think this video might take a bit of time to get through. So grab yourself a drink, get a snack and get comfy. So I've just organized the puzzles into groups based on the places that I got them from. Um, so first up, we've got a few from Amazon. So we've got this cute little 300 piece one from Buffalo Games. And yeah, it just features this sort of kind of a flat lay or just a sort of zoomed in view of like someone's puzzling table. I quite like and enjoy um, puzzles of puzzles. I just always think it's a bit fun and very meta. Um, yeah, so this person's got different sort of sorting trays of puzzle pieces and including the sort of infamous puzzle shaped uh, puzzle sorting tray. So that's cool. I have some of those myself. And then yeah, they've got their glasses here, glass of wine, a pen, magnifying glass, and even a plate of some yummy looking little desserts or cakes here, which I think that's a pretty good idea. I might have to do that myself one of these days when I'm puzzling. Um, yeah, so I just thought that was fun. It's fairly colorful. It's kind of a realistic style, but yeah, I think it's still kind of a bit cute and quirky. So yeah, thought I'd grab that one. Then I've got a couple here that are Schmidt ones. So this one is by Alona Rennie. And if you've seen some other haul videos, you might've seen that I've got other puzzles from her, which are like all part of this sort of uh, pixie dust series, but they're all by Hay, so a different puzzle brand. But this one's in like her style, so very similar, very detailed. And anyway, this one is called, I think it's called Parrot Jungle. Um, oh, and this one's 1000 pieces. And yeah, it's just very, very pretty and detailed as are all her puzzles. And there's just so much going on and they're a little bit surreal as well. So we've got little fish flying around and butterflies and like pearls or bubbles and little birdies and there's a tree frog and some buildings. Yeah, all sorts of like cute little things in there. It's very collagey and yeah, packed full of details. And yeah, just very, very pretty. So I really like her style. It's very intricate and yeah, just, yeah, very, very detailed. So I think this one will be a very pretty one to piece together. And then we've got another Schmidt one. This is Shelley Davies and it is called, uh, I think it's just called Vintage Sewing Supplies, maybe. Yes, I think that's what it's called. And it's also 1000 pieces. Um, and in true Shelley Davies style, it's this gorgeous, another very detailed puzzle, but a gorgeous sort of collage packed with like, yeah, just everything, like all sorts of uh, vintage sewing knickknacks. So we've got, you know, thread and buttons and pins and, sort of little like uh, sewing ads and packaging and things. Yeah, it's really cute, very colorful, uh, lots of very sort of whimsical, you know, vintage sort of designs and yeah, very, uh, yeah, just really pretty as well. So I really like Shelley Davies collage designs. Like they're just always really fun to do because as you're piecing them together, you just discover so many cute little details. So yeah, they're really fun. And I'm sure this one will be as well. And then we've got a couple of Ravensburger ones. So actually one of these is from Amazon and one's from somewhere else. So uh, yes, okay, yes, four from Amazon. Um, so this is from the Abandoned series. And it's 1000 pieces and this one is called Hotel Vacancy. So I've been trying to collect these Abandoned series ones because I just think they're just really beautiful and I quite like sort of abandoned buildings and things. I find them very mysterious and really interesting. Um, but yeah, I kind of like this one is sort of like yeah, an illustration or artwork. It's not a photo um, and yeah, it has all these beautiful kind of muted colors, but still kind of colorful. It's like there's very pretty colors in here. It's almost a little bit rainbow actually. We've got like reds and purples and greens and yellows. So yeah, but it's basically the inside of the sort of a very uh, like old grand looking hotel, but yeah, it's looking a bit decrepit. It's seen better days. There's like 
you know, the stairs are all rickety and falling apart. Yeah, everything's sort of, uh, yeah, deteriorating and plants have taken over. And also the cats, there's quite a few cats in here. We've got like some cats, cat on the stairs and, you know, where else I saw? Oh, there's a cat over there as well. <laughs> and there's like pigeons and graffiti and stuff. So yeah, we've got at least a couple of cats in here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I just think these are really nicely done. I just really like the style of them and I think they're just really interesting puzzles. So yeah, really glad to add this one to the collection. Um, yeah, so that's it from Amazon. Um, so next up, we've got a few here from an Australian like online store called Ed Resources. Um, so this one here is a Ravensburger one and it's 1000 pieces and it's called Vintage Summer Garden and this is by Amy Stewart. And it's sort of a bit like her sort of bookshelf series ones. Like she's got, you know, um, Ravensburgers put out a few of these, but usually 500 piece ones. Like there's like vintage library, vintage cookbooks, I think vintage travel guides. But yeah, this one is yeah summer garden. So it's all very like nature gardening plant inspired books. And of course, um, surrounding the books and throughout the bookshelves is all, you know, plants and things, leaves and butterflies and stuff sort of sprouting everywhere. But yeah, it's really pretty. Every um, book cover is like, yeah, very vintage and just very, yeah, it's really beautiful. And there's a lot of rich colors in here. Um, it's so much detail, like especially on every little book cover. I'm kind of glad this is 1000 pieces actually, because the problem is with the 500 piece ones that are like this, because there's so much detail, I feel like you miss some of the detail with it being a smaller size. So it's kind of nice. I think that they've made it this size. I'm pretty excited that, yeah, they've uh, made this design in 1000 pieces. I'm excited to try that out and see if, you know, we can see more of the details going on. And I think it's just a nicer way to appreciate the details. So I feel like they should make them all like this. Um, yeah, but anyway, there's so many gorgeous flowers. I can see little bees here. Um, yeah, butterflies, dragonflies, there's ribbons. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. I feel like there's quite a few very pretty puzzles in this stack. Um, yeah, just lovely and beautiful and can't go wrong with a gorgeous Amy Stewart puzzle. And then we've got some more Ravensburgers also from the same place. So we've got a 300 piece one here. This one's fairly new as well. And so is the vintage garden one, I believe. Um, this is 300 pieces, but it's the sort of larger piece format. So it says easy to see and handle. And let's see, what is this called? Um, I think it's called Gardener's Getaway and it's by Jason Taylor, the artist. And it's just a really pretty cute idyllic kind of scene as well. It's just like a little, um, what sort of looks like it's in the countryside and it's a beautiful sort of maybe summer, spring day. And then it's sort of this nice, very fancy kind of luxurious looking kind of greenhouse or greenhouse slash gardening shed kind of, yeah. Um, but yeah, just, just this lovely wooden shed with sort of glass ceiling and then yeah, just all sorts of gardening paraphernalia. There's even a little chicken here hanging out and yeah, just beautiful like plants and it looks like a jacaranda tree and sunflowers and little garden gnomes. Yeah, all sorts of really cute gardening related stuff going on in this image. So yeah, very detailed. Kind of reminds me very much of Amy Stewart's style as well. Um, some of her images are this sort of whimsy and kind of pretty kind of image with lots of details packed in. So yeah, I guess I quite like that sort of style. So yeah, I think this one will be very, uh, yeah, fun and fun to put together and just fun sort of discovering little details in it as well. And then we've got another Ravensburger one. I've gotten quite a few this last month. This one's 500 pieces and this one's also the larger piece format. Um, and this one is called um, at the dog park. Um, and it just says it's by Nutshell Designs, art by Ingrid. So I guess that's the artist or the group of artists, I guess. So anyway, it's a really cute one. It's not a cat puzzle, it's a dog puzzle. And yeah, it's just really, I just thought it was just really fun and very silly. So yeah, basically like the name suggests, it's a scene of a dog park, but it's a very, very busy uh, crowded day at the dog park. It seems like every dog from the neighborhood is turned up to sort of have fun and play games and yeah, just enjoy the nice weather. So it looks like a nice sunny day. And yeah, there's all sorts of dogs, um, you know, Dalmatians, poodles, like pugs, um, yeah, all sorts of dogs. And yeah, they're all like, some are playing Frisbee, um, some are just hanging out. One's looking very interested in the squirrel in the tree. There's these cute little, I guess like, 
maybe they're Labradors in this cart here. Um, yeah, and there's like cute flowers and trees and stuff. So it's just really cute, but some of their expressions are very like a bit silly and whimsical. So I just quite like the style of it. It's sort of, yeah, quite interesting. Um, so yeah, I haven't really sort of seen this. I don't think I've really done many puzzles with this style. It almost looks a bit like, uh, like pencil colored in or pencil drawn a bit. It's, yeah, it's really interesting. So anyway, I just thought this was again, a really pretty puzzle and just a really fun kind of very silly puzzle too. So I think that'll be good fun to do. And then we've got a couple others from the same place. So I've got a Deco puzzle and this one's actually only 350 pieces and it's one of these sort of panoramic ones and it's called Summer Lake. Um, you can't really, it's a bit annoying. They, they never, they only ever put the full image on the back in this tiny little strip here. So I will include somewhere the full image so you can see it, but, uh, but they do sort of have a part of the image like wrapping around the box, but let's see if I can tell what's going on. Okay, so it's like a whole group of like animals kind of uh, making their way across a lake pretty much or enjoying the summer lake and they've, they're in different sorts of boats like one's in a teacup boat and one's in an actual boat one seems to be in an upside down umbrella one's in like a little floating house but yeah we've got like foxes and there's a panda a squirrel there's like flamingos seagulls a mouse i think yeah it's really cute so you know, I think it's probably more designed for children, but like I'm a big kid and I just think it's a beautiful illustration. Like the art style is just really lovely. And yeah, it's just a very whimsical, fun, cheery design. And I thought, why not? So it'd be interesting to see how, um, I mean, it does have measurements, but kind of how big it ends up being. Um, I'm not gonna try and work out in my head how big that is. But anyway, uh, because I have done like a couple of their 1000 piece ones and then I've done a 500 piece one all of them being panoramic but both the 500 and the 1000 were the sort of the same size so the pieces in the 500 were like larger so I'm kind of guessing that this might be the same where the pieces are a larger size to sort of um, end up being the same kind of dimensions as the 1000 piece so yeah it'll be interesting to see um, but yeah happy I grabbed this one and then we have one more from Ed Resources this is a cute little Gallison one, 500 pieces, and it's called Coffeeology. And uh, I don't even like coffee. I don't drink coffee. <laughs> I d don't like the taste of it, but I just really like this design. I just thought it looked really like stylized and kind of vintage and I love the color palette. Yeah, it's just really cool. Like it's sort of quite geometric um, and it's sort of very, I like the sort of printing style of it. Yeah, and the kind of cool, really muted sort of colors. Um, it's still sort of colorful though, but yeah, the colors are a bit more kind of vintage, I guess, like these sort of like mints and like kind of pink, this sort of soft pinky color and the browns and stuff and the mustard yellow. But yeah, I just thought it was really cool and quite striking and just, yeah, I don't know, my kind of style, I guess. So yeah, I guess if you're into coffee, you might enjoy this one, but yeah, I think this one will be nice to put together. And then we have one more puzzle from, from this stack. Don't worry, we have some more stacks. Um, so this one came from another Australian website called uh, booktopia.com.au, I believe. So yeah, an online store that does books and other things, but they do puzzles as well. And so this is, I've got my little Amazon notice here. Um, anyway, we've got, uh, yeah, so this one's from Pomegranate and it's 500 pieces and I think it's a reasonably new design. So it's called Rainbow Falls by the artist Elsie Armstrong. And yeah, when I saw this online, I was like, oh, I must have this. It's just very, very pretty um, and very colorful and um, it's kind of surreal as well. And yeah, just, I, I mean, you can probably see why I like it. It's just these pretty kind of rainbow flowers. And yeah, it's basically like this sort of scene that's like a valley that's sort of leading into like this like body of water and like these waterfalls here and then all in the foreground is just packed with colorful, beautiful flowers. And, and then sort of amongst them, there's like little cute little animals. So we've got like a little elephant there and a polar bear, a zebra. Um, and then it, things get a little weird. <laughs> we've got a girl down here holding a uh, goldfish bowl above her head, like with fish in it. And then over here, we've got like in the corner, a little, I think a monkey who's got like a artist's painting palette on its head with a paintbrush in its mouth. So 
yeah, things get a little weird, um, but you know, it's cool. Uh, but yeah, I just think it's again really beautiful and just a really different interesting image and I could not resist the pretty colors and just yeah How beautiful it was so really glad to have picked up this one as well So that's it from like I said this pile. So we have a couple more. So let's uh, go through those as well Okay, so let's go through the second stack of puzzles here um, so I've got a bunch here from an Australian uh, puzzle company called reverie and a lot of these are from their new collection um, so they're actually all kind of book inspired uh, images and some are even licensed with like particular book series. I don't think any of these ones are that I got, but um, yeah, but they are sort of fantasy book inspired. Anyway, so this one is 1000 pieces and it's called A Wander Through Wonderland. And um, you might be able to tell that it's definitely very Alice in Wonderland inspired, or I guess it is Alice in Wonderland. And yeah, it just features, I guess, yeah, Alice. And she's like wandering through well, Wonderland and has all these giant mushrooms and the giant flowers. And yeah, it's really pretty, a very pretty color palette, very sort of dusk-like, very, you know, pretty with the pinks and golds and like uh, purples and stuff. So yeah, really nice image. Um, I forgot to mention, this is by the artist uh, Esther Miklos. I probably butchered that, I apologize. Um, but yeah, so they definitely, they work with a range of different artists. So. But yeah, I think this art style is really pretty. Um, it's a little bit whimsical, uh, but yeah, I think this one will be a fun one to do because I quite like, you know, I've enjoyed Alice in Wonderland kind of stories, both books and like movies and cartoons and stuff. So I think this will be a fun one to do as well. And then the next one is another 1000 piece one and it's called Folktale Town and it's very colorful and cute. And this is by the artist Jasmine. Uh, oh, Jasmine Rose Coop, I believe. Um, yeah, and it just features this really cute little, well, folk tale, tale town and very colorful. And it's got all these like cute cobblestones and little like shingled roofed buildings and everything's here yeah, very bright. And there's like um, <laughs> some cute stores. Like I like big books and I cannot lie. Then there's the Talking Cats Bakery, the Sven and Sons Apothecary, the Elder Library, museum and a little bridge or well, archway says trolls do not pass there's a little uh flying i don't know what that is like a flying deer and like looks like the loch ness monster and yeah oh, and a dragon yeah it's really cute very fantasy themed and very magical and yeah very pretty so i i like this one it's very whimsical it's kind of quite cartoony and yeah just um uh, a really pretty image as well so i think this one will be very like fun and probably pretty quick to put together. It looks like it will be not too tricky. So yeah, looking forward to that one. And then the next one from them is a bit more darker and moodier. So this is called Celestial Library 1000 Pieces and it's by the artist Maxine V. And it's very, very beautiful, very stunning. I think a few of them are by the same artist. And yeah, um, like the name suggests, it's this very sort of celestial kind of magical uh, nighttime kind of library. This a uh, lady reading her book kind of under lamplight or moonlight. And yeah, the library's got all these sort of like, well, celestial things. There's like shooting stars and moons and yeah, lots of little stars and clouds. It's very, very pretty and has this lovely like indigo purple bluey kind of color palette and yeah, lots of details. So I think this one will be very enjoyable to put together. It's very pretty. So yeah, really glad to have grabbed that one. And then a, another one by, I think the same artist, yes, Maxine V, is a 1000 piece one called Serenity. And uh, this one is quite bright compared to the last one. So it's this beautiful sort of maybe spring or summer day. It's got all these blooming pink roses. But yeah, this girl just enjoying reading her book with her cute little ginger cat, just sitting on like, you know, the, um, I guess, like balcony or something. And yeah, it looks like she lives in some very grand kind of manor or mansion. and the fountain and yeah it looks really pretty very idyllic and looks very relaxing and yeah just really pretty and bright so yeah I think that one will be a nice one to do as well and then I've got another one here I got quite a few um, so this one's red library 1000 pieces uh, yep yeah, by the same artist as well and basically features this girl which I think might be red, Little Red Riding Hood because um, she's got like a nice little red cloak on and also because we have some like this wolf's head on the top of the archway so yeah she's like in this sort of very grand looking library with this like yeah wolf 
head archway and then there's like the walls are lined with books and this beautiful window um, yeah it's very detailed <laughs> there's even like little squirrel images here and yeah there's so much detail in this um, but yeah it's very ornate and like intricate and very pretty they all all of these by the same artist are quite detailed and just really lovely and the style is kind of interesting it's sort of whimsical but a little bit real semi-realistic as well like it's definitely not super cartoony um, but yeah it's yeah really nice so I think this one is going to look very pretty put together as well and then I have one more from Reverie so this one's actually from I think their original series and this is only 500 pieces and it's called Floating Books and I don't know oh it's by an artist called Anya Martinen sorry again if I've butchered that um, but yeah it's a kind of whimsical image of this girl who I guess is maybe a witch or has magic because she sort of looks like she's concentrating and making all these books float around her and there's a cute little curious looking black cat here wondering what is going on but yeah it looks like she's sort of in her like magical study like the sort of books and potions and candles and things and other bits of paraphernalia that look very kind of witchy and magical and yeah and the cute little moon and stars outside so yeah it's just a lovely whimsical kind of magical image so yeah I think that's going to be nice to do as well um, so that's it from Reverie and now we have a few others here so I have a few Art and Fable ones here which I actually got from the Australian online store Mind Connect um, Australia um, so let's go through them so we've got this 750 piece one called Transcendent Migration by the artist Julie Bell and it's just a stunning artwork um, like her art is just amazing just beautifully painted and very sort of surreal but still realistic style so it's like this I guess woman sort of flying through the air with these like I think they're geese perhaps um, and she even looks she's not quite human I don't think like her arms look like they're getting covered in feathers and I mean and she's flying so yeah and then there's just all this very painterly kind of colorful sky in the background beautiful you can really see the paint stroke so I think this one might be quite tricky to put together I find puzzles that tend to have like more of a painterly style to be quite uh, tricky especially when you're up close looking at the sort of uh, I guess yeah paint strokes on the pieces so but I think it'll just look stunning when it's done and Art and Fable have that beautiful sort of matte sort of velvet touch finish so I think this will just be very luxurious to put together so yeah really looking forward to this one and then I've got what else have I got I've got this other beautiful Art and Fable one this one is also 750 pieces and it's called Daughters of the Sea by the artist Anton uh, Lomave. again I apologize for my continuous butchering of names <laughs> anyway this is like another very sort of painterly style so I think this will be very tricky because there's a lot of detail packed into this one but yeah basically it's sort of an image of these I guess mermaids kind of all just hanging out in the ocean and a very very creepy looking I think what is an eel down here that's that's super creepy <laughs> but everything else is very beautiful like there's so much detail the little fish and like coral and seaweed and stuff and just even amongst the water you can like see like a shadow of a I guess manta ray or stingray up there and all the bubbles and the light coming through and yeah and just like the hair and everything it's just so intricate and detailed um yeah and it looks like you know there's we've got three mermaids younger mermaids here and like maybe an older mermaid here and even another mermaid sort of swimming up but yeah it's really pretty and I used to love mermaids as a kid like the little mermaid so it sort of speaks to me it's a bit nostalgic but yeah very very beautiful just a stunning image so I think this will just look gorgeous when it's done and then I got one more from Mind Connect which is also Art and Fable um, so this is the 500 piece one called Microcosmic Garden by Robert Stephen Conant I think I pronounced that right um, so I actually earlier this year did the 1000 piece puzzle by him which was art and fable so what was that one called I can't remember anyway um, but yeah this is sort of like this very much the same theme and style as the other image and yeah only 500 pieces um, and yeah it's just packed absolutely jam-packed full of detail of plants and these like 
insects and little critters and uh, it's also a bit surreal like some of the things look realistic and then you know some of them have like some very strange kind of alien or even human like faces so it makes things a little bit almost a little bit creepy but and yeah just a bit odd but the colors and details are just beautiful um, and there's just so much like you know he, he's really captured like the shadows and highlights and just rich colors like it's just stunning um, again it'll probably be pretty tricky to put together I feel like that's the case with a lot of art and fable because you know they always have some just beautiful artworks and a lot of very painterly style like the other two although this is less like that but there's just just because of the detail um, but yeah I really enjoyed the 1000 piece one he had so I think this will be really fun to put together as well and then we've got two more from this stack and you guessed it we have another stack to go after this so uh, there's this puzzle which I did recently on my Instagram and this is by an Australian brand which is fairly new called the final piece puzzles and this is their one their puzzle which is 1000 pieces called wild protea and like the name suggests it just is this beautiful uh, illustration of yeah basically it's wild protea and I guess there's another one here and sort of yeah surrounded by other like sort of Australian plants like some wattle and stuff but yeah I just thought this was a really striking image and the sort of I really like the sort of colors and textures that are captured in it like um, I don't know if you've ever seen a protea flower but the middle is this sort of looks like this and has kind of a velvety kind of texture to it so I feel like this image is sort of quite captured that really well um, but yeah it's just a beautiful puzzle um, and yeah really glad to have it in my collection enjoyed putting it together and was super glad to try this brand and it's quite luxe it has a lovely drawstring bag and everything so yeah really uh, happy to have been able to try this one and then the last one I have here well I've just got the lid because I'll explain why in a sec so this is by Uni Dragon, and it's called this is their inexhaustible abundance mandala puzzle and it's the of course because I'm crazy I picked the larger size which is the royal size because you know I couldn't resist the challenge of it um, so this is sort of the design I'll try and pop a picture on the screen as well because it's just such a really intricate design so I've only got the lid because their lids I find on a lot of their containers just don't fit very well like I recently did a smaller puzzle by them that I borrowed from a friend and the lid on that just didn't stay on either so when this arrived the lid was basically kind of not really attached very well I think it's supposed to like click into place and the pieces were a bit loose so uh, I was like oh, I hope I haven't lost any pieces because it has a lot of tiny weeny little pieces so I'll be keeping all the packaging until I've done this one just to make sure um, but yeah it's a beautiful image it's a mandala so this round shaped very very intricate uh, image and I just really love all the colors so it's sort of I guess a bit like a rainbow gradient because we've got greens blues indigos purples pinks and reds etc um, yeah and each it's sort of like rings going around so sort of got a center circle with different patterns and yeah the patterns are all very kind of abstract I guess yeah they're just all yeah very very detailed almost looks like gold and filigree in there as well um, but yeah very beautiful and um, I saw this one's been out for a while and I yeah when I first saw it I was like I need to try that um, and this will be I think basically the only the second uh, yeah only the second uh, Union Dragon puzzle I will have tried so yeah I'm looking forward to doing it I'm tempted to do a video on it uh, I think it, it might prove quite challenging so it might end up being a challenge video um, but you know I think it'll be really stunning when it's done so yeah I'm glad I got it let's hope all the pieces are there um, yeah I guess the only thing I don't like is the packaging I just wish they'd like you know at least put the pieces in a sealed bag or something if the lid's not going to fit properly but well, you know um, anyway so that's it for this stack and we have one more stack and then we will be done okay so we are up to the last stack of puzzles here so I've got a few here from a New Zealand puzzle company that I recently discovered um, I'm not sure how long they've been around for though but uh, they have some beautiful designs anyway they are called Peace House and all their designs are by New Zealand based artists so this first one's called Golden Hour it's 1000 pieces by the artist Kelly Spencer and it just features this really cute well I guess like the name suggests Golden Hour so the sun's sort of like 
going down and it's just yeah very golden and it's this cute really cute silly whimsical sun with these like very fun pink sunglasses on um yeah and there's like it looks very like kind of tropical there's like palm trees here and rolling hills of green grass and these beautiful pinky red orangey kind of uh, very tropical very pretty summery looking flowers yeah it's a very summery kind of puzzle but yeah i just thought it was really beautiful i really like the art style it's just so cute and kind of a bit cartoony and the colors are just yeah really beautiful and stunning so yeah i think that's going to be a really gorgeous one to put together and i have to say these are all quite heavy so yeah i'm like it's gonna be interesting to see what their pieces are like um but yeah oh and there's a bigger version of the image on the back i should have noticed that um but yeah these look gorgeous so very excited to try these out um so this next one is called classic as which is a quite a new zealand thing to say i believe and uh it's 1000 pieces and the artworks by finn jerry wilson and it's this really interesting style um, but basically it's featuring featuring all these new zealand oh, there's the image there's the image featuring all these New Zealand sort of icons. A lot I don't actually know. So I think when I do this puzzle, it will be fun to kind of look them all up and see see what they all are. Um, I have been to New Zealand, but I you know haven't been for quite a number of years and I've only been to sort of some areas. So yeah, I think this will be a really fun, kind of educational and interesting one to do actually. But yeah, I love the style. It's very like, kind of, I don't know how to describe it. Everything's got very bold black lines around it. It's quite cartoony. I love the bright, pretty, fun colors. Um, yeah, everything's very, again, very whimsical and cartoony, but there's all these sort of thick black strokes on a lot of the images. So yeah, they're quite bold looking. Yeah, really interesting art style. Um, but yeah, it really appealed to me. I just thought it looked fun and yeah, I'm definitely keen to learn about all these places or icons and things in New Zealand and hopefully go visit some of them one day. So yeah, I think this will be a fun one to do. And then we have this beautiful one called Flourish, also 1000 pieces by the artist uh, Laura Schaukras. And it's just a really sort of pretty scene of like, I guess sort of someone's indoor like garden or plant area. So it looks sort of like a table where there's just lots of plants on display and cute little like a swan vase and this other pink vase but yeah it's just all plants and flowers um got a cute some cute little beetles and a bee here and butterfly but yeah it's really pretty it's sort of again semi realistic but a bit stylized um but yeah it's just a lovely image just a lot of detail and the flowers look really pretty um and lots of sort of patterns and textures going on so yeah i think that one will be a lovely one to do as well And then the last one I got from uh, Peace House is called Oasis Found. And this is also quite a very summary one. Um, it's 1000 pieces and it's, um, well, it says it's arts by Studio Bon. Um, so yeah, I guess, I don't know if it's a single artist or a group of artists. Um, oh, it says it's a artist and illustrator called Bonnie Brown. And I guess they sort of go by the name Studio Bon. Um, so yeah, again, we've got the big image on the back, but yeah, it's this, a uh, woman who's just sort of, I guess, sunbathing, relaxing in the sun in her swimmers. And yeah, it's really interesting. It's a bit surreal or dreamlike because you've sort of got all her hair spread out here, but her hair's kind of become water and you've got people in her hair or water sort of, you know, boating or swimming or floating. Yeah, and it's just really pretty colors. And then she's got like things around her that are very beach or sort of submarine, like an icy pole and fresh orange and She's got like a magazine and like her flip flops and some shells and stuff. But yeah, the colors are beautiful. Like I love this sort of teal aqua color here, kind of contrasting with the oranges and pinks. Yeah, very summery. Kind of has a few similarities to that like golden hour one with the sort of very like pinks and oranges and stuff. But yeah, gorgeous. And oh, and I love her sunnies or, or sunglasses, I should say, which are like love heart shaped. And then you can see the reflection of like the clouds and the sky and stuff in it. So. Yeah, we say sunnies here for sunglasses, FYI. Um, but yeah, anyway, just a beautiful image. Really love it. I think it's just a gorgeous art style and definitely looking forward to doing that one as well. And then we've got here, which should I do next? This one. Okay, so this one's actually from one of my puzzle friends on 
Instagram or Puzzlegram as we like to call it. So she did this one and then asked if I wanted to do it next. And I was like, yes, this looks very fun. So this is actually Cloudberry's one. And it's a collection of like three 500 piece puzzles. So it's called uh, Triptych. And yeah, each puzzle is just called one, two, and three. Um, I'll pop images on the screen of them. Um, but yeah, they're all in this like, kind of like the box. Let's, well, let's see if we can pull them out and have a quick, quick look. Ah. Well, actually the images are here, but it's okay. We'll just do this. So number one, and they're in these very cute kind of very colorful boxes. So I've got this bright yellow one here and yeah, they all have this kind of, um, I don't know what you call it, like a kind of geometric art style and that's very bold and almost simplistic kind of design, but still kind of detailed, like there's a lot going on, but everything's just very like uh, kind of 2D in a way, like very flat colors and but yeah, but still very bright. There's like lots of quirky things going on. This one's got like chickens in it and some ducks and fish and yeah. So I don't know what it all means, but it's a very like kind of quirky, uh, fun, colorful image. So yeah, there's that one. And then what's number two? Number two's got this lovely forest green box. Okay, this one's definitely looks a bit more, well, it's got more other animals. So we've got here a cow and I guess a goose or a, a duck. I think it's a goose and a dog down here. And they all seem to be a bit like animals and nature and that sort of thing. Um, and yeah, lots of flowers and there's even like a chair down here. And so it's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, very like cool design. And then this last one, I love this sort of candy pink box that comes in. It's very cool. Um, this sort of looks like, I don't know. I don't know what it looks like because it's all very like abstract. Um, so it almost looks like there's an egg here or something in an egg holder. But yeah, again, lots of flowers. It's a moon, a chair, some sort of bird here. And again, they all have, sort of have plants and things. Um, but yeah, very geometric, very abstract, very colorful. So I think these will be fun to put together. Maybe a bit tricky too, because they like, you know, like even though it's sort of a simplistic design, there's still like lots of little shapes going on. So hmm, kind of interesting. But yeah, I haven't really done anything quite like this. And I sort of think this sort of set of three little puzzles is quite an interesting idea. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to doing those and then probably passing this on to another puzzler out there. So yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, definitely think those will be fun to do. And then, We've got here a couple from Wentworth. So they were having a sale and I, you know, had to get a couple, um, had to. <laughs> anyway, there's this cute one that I saw this design ages ago, but sort of held off getting it, but I just couldn't resist any longer. So this one's called Ramen Girl. And I, I the name of the artist, okay, I'm definitely butchering this. Wee Jung Kim, maybe? Anyway, it's 240 pieces and so, if you don't already know Wentworth puzzles, they, they make just wooden puzzles and all their puzzles have cute little uh, whimsy or decorative pieces in them. So this one's no exception. Anyway, I should show you the image. Um, yeah, it's just this really cute, brightly colored kind of cartoony um, picture of this like, yeah, cute little girl and she's just eating a bowl of ramen, but then all the sort of things around her are like have cute little faces. So it's like dumplings here with, cute little faces and like the sauce and soy sauce and things like that. They have faces too. And then there's like, I guess an egg or something on her head, which looks like it's, I don't know. Oh, it's eating um like some dumplings on a stick, like on a skewer. <laughs> and just looks like it's having a great old time sitting on her head. And then yeah, just cute little flowers and stars and things. So it's just a very weird, cute, quirky little image, but I really like the sort of bold colors and the design, it's very like fun. So yeah, I think that's just a yeah, really cute little image. And then the other one I got from them is a gorgeous image. Um, this one's called Eye of the Tiger by, okay, I'm gonna butcher this one as well. Anita Bajigiani. Me and names, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> 250 pieces and it's this beautiful sort of painted kind of a bit whimsical image as well, actually, of this like tiger looking through, I guess it's sort of watching something. It's looking through all the trees and the foliage, but yet yeah, surrounded by all these very colorful tropical kind of jungle birds, like a toucan and like, different parrots, a hummingbird. 
yeah, all sorts of very colorful birds and they all have very big eyes and yeah, the style is quite interesting. It's not a realistic style. It's sort of a little bit cartoonish, whimsy, like, yeah, that sort of thing. But you can definitely see all the brush strokes of the, I guess, painting. But yeah, it's very pretty and I love the sort of, it's got a really nice use of like dark and light in the image. So it really makes the sort of dark foliage really makes like the tiger's face pop and even like the birds look like they're really st like sort of stand out. It's very stunning. So yeah, even for a cartoony image, I think it's very beautifully done. So yeah, I just thought that was gorgeous and had to have it. And then the very last set of puzzles here um, is my first time getting anything from this brand and some of you may know it. It is micro puzzles. So I've got a whole bunch here. <laughs> Um, they actually recently, I think they're still doing it, started shipping internationally. So I, and they had a little sort of discount code and stuff. So I took advantage and decided to try some because I've, you know, seen lots of people doing these on Instagram and I've always wanted to try one and they always have really cute, fun designs. So yeah, I decided to grab a bunch. So I've got five here. Um, so I will definitely be popping images up on the screen so you can see, uh, see them because they're very tiny, but yeah, they come in these cute little sort of test tubes. And they are, I think they're only, yeah, they're all 150 pieces. So yeah, they're really tiny and they have very teeny weeny little pieces. I don't know if my pudgy fingers are gonna be able to pick these up. Might have to get some tweezers or something. Um, anyway, so this first one is called, oh, does it doesn't have the name on it. I think it was called Dino Eye. If I get these names wrong, I'll put the correct name on the screen. Um, if you don't see the name on screen, I either forgot or it's the correct name. <laughs> So this one's called Dino Eye and it's sort of quite a almost realistic illustrative style of like, it's, it's a bit abstract actually. It's sort of got this big lot of like foliage or ferns, like cluster of ferns. And then it's got this golden yellowy red dinosaur eye sort of in the middle. It's quite, looks a bit scary actually, but it looks really cool. And then all in the background is like fossils and uh, like ferns and what looks like maybe dinosaur eggs and like yeah, fossil uh, dinosaur prints and all sorts of things like that. But I, I really like dinosaurs. I think they're cool. So thought, and as a kid, I loved dinosaurs and collected like dinosaur toys and stuff. So I'm very nostalgic as well. But yeah, I just thought the image is really cool. So yeah, I think this will be a fun one to put together. And then next up we have one called, I think this one's called Doodlefish. And it's just this really cute, um, very colorful and very detailed sort of, fish image or fish sort of pattern. It's got this big fish in the middle looking very cheery and kind of a bit dopey. And then like the whole thing is jam packed with like patterns of like, it's got like seaweed and stuff, but, and like jellyfish and other fish, um, you know, shells and things, but all of them are very like, have a lot of design or intricate little patterns within them. So yeah, very like, I guess that's why, why it's called Doodlefish because it's like someone's like been doing little doodles, pictures like and patterns inside everything. Yeah, it looks cute, very colorful as well. So I think that will be good fun. And then next we have a very fun, silly one. So this one's called Llama Bama Ding Dong. I think that's what it's called. And it's just, is this really cute. Um, oh yeah, this sort of very, uh, cute little llama just sort of chilling out and it's very colorful. It's sort of got a cute little kind of colorful saddle or blanket on it with little like pom-poms and it's got little kind of pom-poms around its neck and a little headband. And then on its back, it's carrying a pot plant of like cactus plants. And yeah, and there's like cactus around it and cute little like colorful lights and stuff. So it's sort of a very cheery, cute, little picture. Um, yeah, I just thought it was a fun image. So I think that will be a cute one to do. They're also so adorable and cute. This next one is also a bit sort of dinosaurish, although this one is called something mammoth, mammoth fun. Can't remember. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> um, so yeah, this one is also really intricate as well. Um, it's sort of just like almost look, looks like you're looking at a bunch of like fossils and dinosaur bones, but then in the, again, sort of, it features like this bigger, like mammoth kind of trapped maybe in a block of ice or something like that. I'm not too sure, but yeah, there's like little bones and then skeletons of dinosaurs and fish and things and leaves and plants. And yeah, very, everything's very patterned. 
Um, I just thought this looked really fun as well. I mean, they had so many cool designs to choose from, but I was like, I can't pick them all, just pick a few. But uh, this was definitely one of my favorites, so glad to get that one. And yeah, it feels a bit like dinosaur -y as well. And then the last one I grabbed just because it was just very fun and cheery and colorful, and it's called, I think it's called Schmetterling, which is sort of like, I think it's sort of like the German word or play on the word for butterfly, I think. Don't quote me. Again, I might pop the name up on the screen for that one. Um, but yeah, it's just black background with all these colorful, sort of almost like watercolor style butterflies in all different shapes and sizes, just sort of filling up the whole space. So yeah, very pretty, kind of a simple design. Like, I mean, they're sort of detailed in their own right, but there's like nothing else going on. It's just all butterflies. And some of them are sort of solid colors and others are more like gradient butterflies, but yeah, very pretty. I think it'll just be a nice striking image and just very pretty to do. So that is everything for the month of July. So that was everything for the July puzzle haul. I think there was a really good range of brands there, including ones that are new to me. So I'm excited to be trying those out soon. And I think there's a really fun mix of uh, like art styles as well. There was like some sort of classic painterly ones, cartoony ones, stylized, abstract. Yeah, all sorts of really sort of fun art styles there and quite a lot of colorful ones as well, of course. So in the comments below, let me know uh, which puzzles you like the best from this haul and you know, were there any there that you also got or let me know what other puzzles you got for the month of July. And don't forget if there's any questions you wanna ask me for the upcoming Q and A video, uh, you can comment those down below as well. Just let me know that they will be for the video. Um, you know, it can be about puzzles or even something else. Um, I'll also be posting a story on my Instagram account where you can submit questions there as well, or, you know, even feel free to DM me over on Instagram too. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love. And for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore juby, where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.